breast cancer rehabilitation. Let's look at a protocol and timeframes for the treatment of cording. In this instance, cording is a thin band and is easy to see. Let's look at cording that might be a bit thicker and harder to detect. This cording is harder to detect because it's right beside very tight pec muscles. The cording can be palpated and pain is felt down into the arm at end range abduction. After day 10, we treated one session per week for the first six weeks. This included using low-level laser, myofascial release and deep scar tissue release. When the three weekly cycle of chemo commenced, then we treated every third week. Chemo has now finished and the patient is on tamoxifen. And so it's been about two months since our last treatment together. We've nearly got full range of abduction, but cording is still present. Test 2B, which is reach out the back from a point of abduction, shows that there is still a restriction in range of movement when you compare the right arm with the left arm. We will continue using the same treatment protocol of low-level laser, myofascial release and scar tissue release on a six-weekly basis.